Iman here from Design by Iman, and today we're going to talk about everything you need to know to make your home more Instagrammable. In today's day and age, everyone's got their phones out. They're taking selfies, they're taking pictures of their family or friends. So when they come to your home, they're taking pictures of everything. And rather than those photos going into an album like they used to, they're going right onto social media. So today we're gonna to talk about how to create Instagrammable moments all around your home. So the first step is to have an amazing selfie mirror. So you wanna have a really beautiful frame, but don't forget to make sure that you have an awesome reflection. So I've pulled up some amazing mirrors. This one here, it's lit up, it's got um, gorgeous curves to it. This one here has some amazing details. You can even go with something curved that is either leaning against the wall or that's floor mounted. You can go with something even smaller if you don't wanna do a massive mirror, but maybe something at your makeup vanity or in your bathroom. I love this one here because it's got beautiful flowers and it just has so much detail. This one's from Anthropology. These ones here are gold and ornate and they're, they come in so many different shapes and sizes. So just depending on where you wanna place this mirror. You could also go with something more like a wooden inlay with lots of details. So it could be somewhere like in your bathroom or it could even be in your closet. You could also go with something more bold and floor mounted. Arches are really coming back, so you could go with an arch mirror. This one here has a brass detail, but you could also do something like this with a marble frame. This mirror here is also floor mounted, but it's got a beautiful black frame and nice detail. So overall, you just want to have a mirror that speaks to you and speaks to the space, and that is really unique. And just make sure that when you do take those selfies that there's nothing in the background, so you don't need to see, you know, a, a big mess or like toys everywhere or whatever it might be. So just think a little bit more about the reflection when you're taking those selfies. So let's move on to pillows and blankets. So when you're in your living room, when you're taking a picture of someone else sitting down or potentially a selfie of yourself, maybe lying down on a pillow or with a pillow in your backdrop, you wanna make sure that those pillows are gorgeous. So here are some bold prints of pillows, uh, black and white abstract pillows. This one here has this gorgeous gold detailed zipper, which really adds a nice touch of elegance. You could also go with something a little bit more funky and loud, like these gorgeous snakes. You could even go with something like this black pillow, which is quite simple, but it has small gold details on it. Or you could do something more loud and bold, like these pointing fingers in a black and white abstract pattern. So essentially any pillow selection is fine as long as it complements the rest of your space. And my suggestion would be to pick one or two pillows that are a little bit more luxurious than the rest to really add to that Instagram photo. So next up, we're gonna talk about bedding. So when you're in your bed, maybe you're taking a selfie, maybe you're taking a picture of something on your bed. So you just wanna make sure that your bedding has a really nice fabric and really nice detail. So for example, this bedroom here has this amazing Hermes throw, which is super luxurious. It also has really, really nice sheets. These sheets here have a gorgeous sheen to them and really nice reflection and they don't wrinkle, which is awesome. You always wanna look for that. You could also opt for more of a hotel look where you've got a border going all the way around and this really makes it feel and look like you're living in a hotel, which obviously everyone would want. Or you could also go with something like this where it's got a beautiful border detail going around your bedding as well as your pillowcase. So really there's a lot to choose from when it comes to bedding, but essentially you want it to have some sort of detail and you want the fabric to be luxurious so that it photographs well in your Instagram pictures. So next up is kettles. So oftentimes I'll see someone pouring a kettle. It'll just be a video um, on their stories on, or on Instagram and the kettle will be super dated. So here are some examples to up your kettle game. So first up, we've got this gorgeous matte black kettle. Um, again, it, you, it could be a photo or a video of you pouring out your for your tea. Uh, there's this gorgeous one that is all in gold if you wanna go with a little bit of bling. And here we have a kettle by Alessi. And this one here is nice because it's got silver and gold, so that could play up really nicely if you're mixing metals in your home. 
This one actually makes a really cool sound when it's ready to be poured as well. So that could be neat on your Instagram stories. And this kettle here is really, really neat. I think it just adds another sculptural element to the space. So essentially any kettle you pick is totally fine as long as it has a cool sculptural element. I love this one because it's matte black. So basically you can take a picture or a story like this. So next up is dining set. So when guests come over to your home and you're gonna be serving them dinner, you wanna make sure that their plates are really, really beautiful so that they can take pictures of them and post their food on Instagram for all these foodies out there. You also wanna make sure that when you're cooking up a storm in the kitchen, that you've got some really nice serving ware to elevate your cooking game. So for example, you could go with something like this. It's a gold sifter, or you can even have beautiful wood trays with gold details, as well as gold pitchers with a wooden handle. You could also do something like this where you're mixing marble and gold. I also really love these agate trays, which are super stunning for your cheeses. And for plates, there's so many options out there, but essentially it's thinking about the total setting together. So this one here will have a clear background on the larger plates and then solid on the smaller plates. You can also mix colors like doing black and white with black cutlery. You also wanna think about the glasses. There's some amazing glasses out there with gold rims. Here, the dinnerware really comes together and it plays off of each other. So when you're thinking about your entire dinner set, don't buy all the items separately. Really think about how they're gonna to work together to create that beautiful, picture-perfect, Instagrammable photo. So if you want an Instagrammable home, make sure you've got an amazing selfie mirror, awesome toss pillows, great bedding, a really unique kettle, and awesome dinnerware. So if you like the video, be sure to share it with a friend or tag them below, and we'll be sure to see you on the next video.